Hello everyone, and welcome to our top 10 Nintendo Switch games release so far list. Fully packed with 10 plus of the best Nintendo Switch games money can buy, as there's so many quality games on this system. We hope you're excited, and to show it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell, and again for all notifications as we now begin our climb for the next goal of 300,000 subscribers. Let's begin by briefly going through our number 15 to 11 entries before getting in-depth into the final tech. Dragon Quest XI-S The definitive edition of Dragon Quest XI ported from the PS4 brings not only new features but quite literally an entirely new game. This version quite literally allows you to play recreations of previous Dragon Quest worlds in classic 2D mode, igniting the nostalgic levels beyond any and all expectations. You can even help complete quests in these worlds to help restore them to their former selves. Overall, Dragon Quest XI S is an excellent game that you should play on the Nintendo Switch, just like all of the other games on this list. Number 14. Celeste A game with brilliant platforming, simple and accessible controls, along with deeper aspects to master along the way. The game boasts a beautiful retro aesthetic that gives the title a charming atmosphere that everybody can enjoy and appreciate. You'll learn quickly that this game is a real test and challenge of your gaming skills, throwing you into puzzles and hazards alike. But then again, this game is so well designed that when you mess up, it's your own fault and not the game's. Celeste has secured its own niche and flavor, as a unique experience that other games aren't really providing. In addition, you'll find a beautiful soundtrack to go along with it all, really adding to the atmosphere and overall scenery that this wonderful indie title has to offer. Top Down Zelda faced an uncertain future with the Nintendo Switch and Breath of the Wild elevating the series to new heights. Then came the remake of Link's Awakening, reminding us just how important dungeons and major story plot twists are to the franchise. The only thing that keeps this game lower is the fact that the remake content-wise is close to a carbon copy of Link's Awakening DX, and the Dungeon Arranger is only for local play. Splatoon 2 improved and expanded on everything Splatoon established and is no doubt the best game in the series so far. With far more stages, a brilliant paid expansion, even better soundtrack and gameplay, and a player base that the Wii U could only dream of. In other words, it's the perfect sequel and it shows in its sales numbers as Splatoon 2 has surpassed all expectations for the new Nintendo IP, both when it comes to its game's quality and the commercial success. Number 11. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe This one might come as a surprise to some of you, but Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, despite added battle mode, is pretty much the same game as it was on the Wii U. Despite its excellence with all the included DLC on the new battle mode, with the Switch's massive library, a simple remaster was slightly knocked off our personal top 10. We love Mario Kart and we can't wait for the next console installment in the franchise. We just hope that the wait will not be 10 years since Mario Kart 8 first came out. But now, let's get into the top 10 Switch games that we think are the greatest. Beginning with number 10, Super Mario Maker 2. The game which took all the innovation of the Wii U original, made sweeping improvements, increasing the possibility for creation in almost every way. Two players can now build courses together on a single screen, providing a unique way to play co-op. Super Mario Maker 2 is a dream come true for every side-scroller Mario fan, taking all of the brilliant eras of the plumber's games, including 3D World and 2D, and allowing you to directly interact, create and shape every aspect of every level you can imagine. Every Mario fan should have this one in the Switch library, as it is an endless Mario experience and Mario stages with so much extra to add. It is a title that will have you absolutely hooked, especially now that people can nearly create entire Mario games within the game itself. The game that was supposed to hold us over until Breath of the Wild's sequel. And you know what? We think it did a pretty good job. Despite some shortcomings which might make some of you feel that this game doesn't deserve an entry within the top 10. Yes, looking at Metacritic, it doesn't put the game within the prestigious top 10, but this is our list and we want you to keep that in mind. Since according to us, this is the best Warriors experience, at least until we get Persona 5 Scramble, the Phantom Strikers localized. The playable cast of characters in Hyrule Warriors and the soundtrack are absolutely brilliant, while the story actually feels like a movie, so much so that we put it together into a feature-length one. 
This game is simple action-packed fun, with all the best elements found in Breath of the Wild's combat and exploration gameplay, apart from climbing and swimming. But when we can even use the paraglider and Sheikah runes and customize to our heart's content, then we are more than pleased to place it at the number 9 spot on this list. Fire Emblem Free Houses, the game that truly showed us how to bring the series from a handheld back to a console. For the first time, the style of battles, maps and cutscenes are in the same style and seamless, which guaranteed a new level of immersion to an already fantastic series. With memorable characters and free pathways that are radically different, this game truly makes you question if you selected the right choice upon the crucial time skip, in part due to the strong and memorable house leaders Edelgard, Dimitri and Claude. As a strategy game, Fire Emblem Free Houses is a return to gameplay form and creates an experience that everyone can fall for. With battle scenes that finally feel like actual battles instead of duels, amazing moments that we refuse to spoil, and a quest that is so long that you likely will not get through all three paths, in return you'll get real value for money, as the adventure that awaits you in Fodlan and its bittersweet reunions is just that good. Number 7. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 with its brilliant story, awesome combat, breathtaking music and beautiful environment, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is no doubt worthy among the top 10 on this list. Using a more open world design really did this game a great deal of good, even including a day and night cycle that can impact in-game items, events such as quests and even the types of enemies you will encounter. The title makes its own mark, providing players with blades to accompany them in combat with their part of the free. The character designs are amazing, featuring some truly unique individuals and personalities that are essential for an RPG that really sells the experience. Additionally, there is even a DLC available that takes place 500 years before the event of the base game, providing you with even more content once you complete the at least 65 hour long main story. That's not even including the extras either. If you have the time and love JRPGs, then this game is made for you. But first, please play this next entry. Number 6. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. We'll keep it brief. Since Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is Xenoblade Chronicles 2 with a little more data battle system, but in return a far better story, characters and voice acting. We're not exaggerating, but this is actually one of their greatest video game stories and soundtracks ever with classics such as Garo Plane, You'll Know Our Names, Unfinished Battle and far more. In other words, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, with its substantial graphical upgrades, legendary cast of characters and boss fights, plot twists, conflict of nature versus technology, and brand new epilogue Future Connected, had to go ahead of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It is an incredible remaster with refinements, new content, and value that is rare these days. Animal Crossing New Horizons Possibly the best-selling Nintendo Switch game from 2021, and to be realistic, which game could possibly dethrone it when the game in less than a year has sold more than 30 million copies worldwide? The timing of this release could not have been better as an escape from the grim reality that was most of 2020. It offered an island getaway package where we could build the island of our dreams, invite friends over and visit and take inspiration from other players around the world. In other words, the ultimate community game but which missed a higher slot on this list due to one giant flaw. One island per console. Why? We know Animal Crossing was meant to push more Switch sales, and especially Switch lights, but this move has been very unfriendly to families who share the system across two or more individuals. Here you have a brilliant game and escape from reality simulator, with local multiplayer, but with the notorious limit, this new feature feels more forced than voluntary. Number four. Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition No doubt the most ambitious game ever ported to the Switch, with all expansions included on a single 32GB cartridge. No extra downloads required. This handheld console hybrid port, despite its graphical downgrades, is still a wonder to behold, and the quests and even greater side quests are just as great as they were on PC and other systems. Geralt of Rivia's search for Ciri and battle against the Wild Hunt offers value that is unprecedented in the video game world, and you don't have to look further to what is included in the physical release of the game. If handheld play and a massive open world epic is your jam, then few games can beat the Switcher. Maybe with the exception of our podium. Number 3. Super Mario Odyssey Super Mario Odyssey is one of, if not the best addition to the Mario series we have ever had, taking all of the best aspects of legendary titles like Mario 64 and bringing them to a new level with modern and creative ways of playing. 
travel through hugely diverse kingdoms, each with their own enticing theme, and use Cappy to literally take control of enemies along your odyssey. The ultimate blend of modern and classic can be found with nostalgic 2D sections that remind us all of the plumber's humble roots, contrasted by the beautifully modeled modern style of the enemies that bring the brilliant 3D platformer that the series is known for. The only backdrop of this game are the number of kingdoms, as this is the game that you never want to end. Luckily, Super Mario Odyssey comes with one of the best post games in any video game, period. But even that is only enough to secure a spot on the lowest stage on the podium. Now then, before we get to the top two picks, let's go quickly over our honorable mentions. Cue the music. number two spot after falling one spot last year, much in part to the constant refinements through updates and two landmark DLCs, containing Min Min, the first non-cover fighter to introduce a new series into the Smash Bros universe, and a blocky boy that literally changed the game, bringing more fighters than ever before, delivering some truly amazing stages to fight in, refining the mechanics of this beloved series, and just bringing the Smash down in a way that only this series can. Sakurai knocked it out of the park with this one, with a base roster that destroys all competition and DLC inclusions to end all rivals. Since in what other crossover franchise can you play as Persona 5's Joker, Banjo and Kazooie, and Minecraft Steve? The answer is none, and the best part is that the party will continue for most of the Switch's lifespan. There's just so much value in this game with a soundtrack that beats any other, gameplay pace that is a love letter and compromise between melee and four and so much more. The only real downsides with this game is that the story mode World of Light is heavily overextended and that the online experience still has improvement potential. Other than those nitpicks, Super Smash Bros Ultimate is a must. Breath of the Wild's organic open air game that just like Ocarina of Time in 1998 changed this beautiful industry forever. So much so that two big games are literal clones of this masterpiece. Breath of the Wild is that Zelda game that will always be remembered as the time that Nintendo matured when it came to game design and challenged some conventions in desperate need of an update. The interactive sandbox open world game design is absolutely genius, and with the genius enemy reviving Blood Moon, you can delay your confrontation with Calamity Ganon for an eternity and still have fresh encounters every time you jump back into this game, even years after conquering all the shrines. Combine this with the most sophisticated physics engine in any action-adventure title, AI that is prepared to throw its own kind at you, and you have a recipe for an endless game. We have been playing Breath of the Wild for close to four years, and still find great joy as the world truly feels alive and can be explored and enjoyed in any way you please. The excellent gameplay and lack of limitations is what sets Breath of the Wild apart. And yes, it has its shortcomings such as Divine Beasts, Fragmented Story, and Recycled Boss Designs, but hopefully the sequel, which we really hope comes out sometime in 2021, will be able to dethrone it and claim the number one spot on our top 10 Nintendo Switch games list. Until then, we will continue playing Breath of the Wild with some breaks for Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity, and Smash, obviously. And there you have it, the top 10, or if you prefer, 50 Nintendo Switch games we consider to be the best on the system. Do you agree, or do you have a different order? We want to hear what is your favorite, so make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe and press the shiny notification bell as we begin our big push for 300,000 subscribers. And obviously, comment your picks. As always, a big thanks to all our patrons, which we hope you can join on patreon.com slash commonrealm, and in particular, a big thanks to our royal producer, Charles Shash. Until the next one, why not check out one or both of these two awesome videos?